everyone, it is the Charming Giraffe, and today we're going, going to, mm. hey everyone, it is the Charming Giraffe, and today we are going to continue to work with the um, paints mixed with the gloss pouring medium by US Art Supply, same as we did yesterday. Um, got all the same colors, exact same paint still here, so... I want to do something. I got an 8x10 canvas. It is a pour over. I just spray painted it black to be able to reuse it. I've got a lot of paint here. Some colors more than others. And I've got the leftover paint here also. I'll go ahead and just turn these upside down. That looks actually really cool. Huh. Wonder. Not that I expect this to stay. It looks so cool though. Oh well. We'll just turn it upside down <laughs> while we think of what we want to do here today. Um, got a cup. Really like what happened yesterday. I just want to try to get more cells. So I'm not really sure what the key to, to that is here. I'm going to try just a flip cup, I think. We'll just use the paint that's dripping out of here as like a base coat to help it flow. And I'm just going to stack these colors, um, just like yesterday, some are thicker, thinner than others. We've got black from Artist Loft, Flow, Artist Loft Acrylic. This blue is by Apple Barrel, it's the Admiral Blue. The gold is Artist Loft Flow Acrylic. This is Laguna by Apple Barrel. Uh, this green is Artist Loft Flow Acrylic. This red is Artist Loft Acrylic. Really thick that might be a problem this is a blue green used to mixed with the blue and the green that I've already mentioned by Apple Barrel the blue and then the green by Artist Loft not hardly any of this left but we'll put what we have left in here and then we've got some white I'm gonna put some more of the gold because when it's shiny and shimmery and sparkly, who doesn't love that? And it's got a different consistency. So I think that might help with the uh, cell making adventure. Clearly have way enough paint, but that's okay. We can run off what we don't like and keep what we like and hopefully somewhere in there we'll have a masterpiece that looks so cool. I'm actually gonna like just tilt this around for a second just for funsies. I wish I would have made that a skin. Um, just like yesterday, this was the same paint. Um, it was very difficult to mix together. So if you missed that video, I will show you what I'm talking about here. This is a failed attempt that I will continue to work on, <laughs> but it just doesn't blend very well. The key that I found is take your cup, put a little bit of paint in it, and then put a little bit of pouring medium until it blends, and then more pouring medium until consistency. Um, as far as the little bit of paint at the beginning, you can probably put as much paint as you think you're going to need. I would recommend mixing it on a smaller scale like this. I don't know how big these cups are two ounces or something two or three I don't know um, I wouldn't recommend mixing up a bottle of paint like 16 ounces uh, until you are comfortable with what you're doing because I'm not so I would not recommend doing that uh, once you get it down and you know exactly your ratios and how to do it have at it but until then I would recommend small portions at a time um, this is pretty good whoa that's awesome. Don't know if we're going to get cells out of it, but it's awesome. Um, I want to make a little skin over here. I don't know if this will be in frame or not, but that's all I'm doing. Just using what little bit is in this cup. I'm just running it out on the side. Just. 
All right, now to the painting. Sorry about that. All right. There's some texture here. I'm guessing that's paint that didn't get mixed in very well. Once again, super runny. You can see how extremely fluid that is. I'm gonna grab some gloves. so runny. Okay, I guess just all that green's gonna go, which is okay. I want to try to save a little bit of the white, but I didn't want all of that white. Also, I think the white is kind of chunky, so the more we get off, the better. I'm very curious to see how this is gonna do. I'm gonna run it back this way. It's actually really pretty. I'm not dissatisfied at this point. There's like a massive like chunk of paint there. So there's lots of chunks of paint that didn't get blended. I'm gonna do something that I don't think I've ever done. Trying to break up this kind of blue section. does. Um, when I bring in for the close-up, you can see kind of all these little specks. I'm positive those are paint specks that didn't get mixed in, as well as there's tons of just chunks everywhere. So I will torch it, dig everything out to the best of my ability, and then bring you in for a close-up. All right, here we are for the close-up. I'm going to kind of go sideways here. You can see all the little chunks through the where the light is. It's very difficult to try to pick them out because they're paint. <laughs> so it's not like a glob, like a dried piece of paint where you can just pick up. It like your tweezers just kind of like lose it <laughs> and it just stays there. Um, we'll start in this corner here. Let's see. Let me get it to focus. Got all those little white specks, which is just the paint kind of not blending in very well with the pouring medium. Love this red stripe through here though. It's really pretty. You can definitely see all the shimmeriness from the gold. And we actually got a few cells here, which is exciting. Hadn't had that with other pouring mediums except for my Floetrol. This might be my favorite corner right here. Very earth tones and a few cells. And this is very watery. Um, like oasis looking area of the painting. So here's an overview shot. Let me know what you think about this piece in the comments below. Again, if you have any suggestions for this pouring medium, leave those there as well. I'll be happy to give them a try. I still have a little under half the bottle left, so we've got plenty to use. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and do make you happy.